What is up you guys, Simwolf Hero here today, and I'm here with another video for you guys back again on the channel. Uh, I am here with the fourth in a series of uh, Create a Sim videos. Uh, today, we are doing uh, Mr. Bjorn Gustafsson, as you can plainly tell from uh, the title and, of course, what you're seeing on screen right now. Um, again, as I said, Mr. Bjorn Gustafsson is uh, the number four in a series of Sims. Uh, we now have Mr. Owen Thomas, Mr. Demarcus Puller, and, of course, Mr. Ramses Ayala. Uh, Bjorn is now being added into the family. Um... As for the music for the background, if you guys can probably tell, it's more of a Scandinavian kind of music, and that was actually intentional. Um, the reason I say this is because while I was making this sim, I was really unsure of exactly what I wanted him to look like. I know that I wanted him to have more of that kind of old European kind of look. Um, and when I say old European, I'm talking old, old, old European. Pretty much, um, if you guys have watched the show Vikings, which, oh, I highly recommend. If you have not seen the show Vikings, you are missing out. Um, I can't watch HBO, so th that means no Game of Thrones for me. But honestly, I don't mind, uh, at least not right now. Uh, that's why I have Vikings. And it's an amazing show. I highly recommend it. Either way, this character was kind of modeled after something that you might see in Scandinavian culture. He's a very, very jacked. Let's just say that. We'll, we'll get down to it. He's a very jacked individual. Um, he has that old Scandinavian kind of look. Pale skin, blue eyes, uh, thick hair. And as I said, as you just saw me there... He has a pretty big build, so yeah. Also, he has uh, some tattoos that just kind of help, just makes him look good. Um, as I said, Mr. Bjorn Gustafsson um, was very fun to do. I was very, very happy the way he turned out. Um, and overall, I'm just excited to play with him in this household, especially for um, some of the traits he has. Um, that we'll get down to once we get into the trade section. But as you can plainly see here, me looking through some of the tattoos, that's one thing that I've seen. Um, we haven't really had many tattoos or, um, body artwork added since Get to Work. Um, I could have imagined that they might have put something in there for Get Together, but unfortunately not. Um, I have been looking on... Uh, the Sims resource and some other places to look for kind of the old um, tattoos. Can't seem to find much, at least none that I like. So, for the moment, um, you know, I'll just be hoping because, you know, artwork is great. Um, anyways, we were trying to find some clothing for him. Now, what I ended up doing was just kind of giving him this old kind of European look, almost kind of as if he were um, a foreign exchange student, you catch my drift, um, kind of gotten that look. So I gave him one of the shirts that came with the movie stuff pack. It was this white uh, wide brim shirt um, that just made his chest is completely open. Um, also at first I was going to give him some hoop earrings, but I saw that and it made him look too much like a pirate. Uh, so unfortunately I went without that. Obviously I gave him some sort of necklace, uh, which really looked good with him. I'm very happy that I decided that. And also I gave him some knicker pants. And yes, those are called knickers because they go up to your knees. Um, and at this point I really did realize that he looked more like a pirate than anything. But, uh, you know, I'm okay with it. He looked good. Give him some nice little... Sperry boat shoes kind of look-alikes. They look very nice on him. Um, the formal wear was something that I went back on a lot. I really wasn't sure what I wanted him in. First, I kind of wanted him in, a, in just the bow tie. And then I went back with just the regular tie. I even tried some of the... Um, uh, I forget that stuff pack. 
I can't remember the name of that soap pack. The one with the diamond. Uh, I think it was like party something. I, I can't remember. But in the end, I believe we did go ahead and go with the bow tie uh, look for him. At least I believe so. We might have even did a different color just because the blue might have been a bit much in this. Um, I believe we actually did change it to something. I just can't exactly remember what color it was. I was also thinking about giving him that kind of frosted jacket kind of thing, which looks really good. Uh, I believe in the end I did keep the actual blue tux, which looks very nice on him. Uh, in the athletic category, uh, again, very simple kind of colors. Again, cave him. I'm trying to keep with that brown kind of tone, that kind of tan tone. Uh, I'm just not sure why. It just looked really good on him. So, went with that. Uh, sleepwear, I believe him. I just gave him some bottoms. And uh, I think I gave him a couple socks, actually, too, which I don't do socks that often. First, I was going to do some red socks, but it just kind of looked weird. Uh, so I think I just went with a basic uh, gray sock or something like that um, and kept it at that. His party attire was, uh, I believe, something that I'd probably wear if I ever went to a party like this, I imagine. I believe I gave him that jacket there. I don't know. He just looks rad. I just love how Bjorn... Uh, came out with this and if you know where the name Bjorn came from and if you actually have watched the Viking series then uh, you and I are best friends so I really do appreciate that coming from you <laughs> um, and here's where the music changes I'm sorry guys I just I just love my editing I, I really do I'm getting better at editing I am I promise uh, gave him that kind of jacket there I believe we actually went with the last one that brown kind of dark jacket with the blue shirt uh, looks really good on him again kind of giving him that modern kind of look not a hipster look but uh, something similar to it just kind of a an old grungy southern kind of look I don't know it, it, it just looks great and then, of course, that is where we ended with most of the clothing items. I believe I went back and just added um, some earrings onto each of the um, clothing items. Uh, all for except, I believe, his formal attire. Yes, I believe so. Because body modification. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as I said, Mr. Bjorn Gustafsson is going to be number four in our household. Now, Mr. Bjorn is going to be, and I've written this down for him, uh, just because I would forget. He's going to be the Renaissance Sim. Um, he's going to be a bit of a hothead, but also kind of romantic. And at the end, I also decided to make him a loner, because live alone is bad. Anyways, here are the screenshots, guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of him. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.